सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट न्यू सीरीज कॉल्ड स्टडी विथ मी एन सी आर टी बायोलॉजी सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विथ क्लास इलेवन एन सी आर टी सो ही इज द फर्स्ट यूनिट विच इज डाइवर्सिटी इन द लिविंग वर्ल्ड एंड इट कंटेंस फोर चैप्टर्स दट इज द लिविंग वर्ल्ड बायोलॉजिकल क्लासिफिकेशन प्लान किंगडम एंड एनिमल किंगडम सो लेट स्टार्ट इट ऑफ सो फर्स्ट द इंट्रोडक्शन टू द यूनिट फर्स्ट यूनिट डाइवर्सिटी इन द लिविंग वर्ल्ड Biology is the science science of life forms and life process. So, what is biology? What is the science or the like the knowledge that that is related to the life forms, which are living and which are life process? The now the question is what is living, which we are going to learn a little bit later, or what is life form that we are going to know a little bit later. So, the living world comprises an amazing diversity of living organisms. So when you look around, you can see the different types of trees, plants, insects, even us humans and other organisms like dogs, cats, and all. Early man could easily perceive the difference between inanimate of matter and living organisms. Early man defied some of the inanimate matter, wind, sea, fire, etc., and among, and some among the animals and plants. So really, didn't they? They sort of worship the different types of um, inanimate matters like thunder, then rain, and even some animals and plants. A common feature, because they feared them, right? A common feature of all such forms of inanimate and animate objects was the sense of awe and fear that they evoked. The description. of living organisms including human beings began much later in human history yeah it did because they did not fear humans as much as others right because they themselves are humans and others they did not know that what the other other organisms are but humans they know that this is also a human right and societies which indulged in anthropocentric view of biology to register limited progress in biological knowledge now what is anthropocentric view of biology well it is like human view um only what they needed only that much like um this that they praised god and so they I mean praised a particular animal so they only knew the classification of that animal so that is not good right i mean to know them they must me i mean they should not I mean, what like group things like this is this I should know only about this animal and not that animal, right? Societies which indulge in anthropogenic view of biology could register limited progress in biological knowledge. Systematic and monumental description of life forms brought in out of necessity. Detailed systems of identification, nomenclature, and classification. Systematic and monumental description. It is systematic. Uh, this type of decision came out of necessity because, I mean, without this, I mean, this there is so vast amount of number of organisms, right? So vast diversity. So without a systematic and systematic classification or description, it is not possible, right? So it came up with necessity to study the whole thing, the system, the the system of being systematic and monumental description that thing, and detailed systems of. Yeah, identification, nomenclature, and classification. Identification means to know that this is that animal. This is a dog. This is not a cat. So this is identification. The nomenclature that this is it. It's naming, and then classification that this is um quite related to this dog is um this cat is more related to a lion than a dog or this primate is more related to a human than than a dog. This type of things. The biggest spin-off of such studies was the recognition of the sharing of. I mean, these things we are going to understand a little bit later as the course progresses. The biggest spin-off of such studies was the recognition of the sharing of similarities among living organisms, both horizontally and vertically. Horizontal, I mean, the biggest spin-off of such studies was the recognition of the sharing of similarities among living organisms, both horizontally and vertically. So, vertically means in evolution. if you draw a line so i mean vertically actually means like from the parents or from the ancestors the com- common similarities and the horizontally means like 
to your cousins the similarity you have that sort of thing the biggest spin off of such study was the recognition of the sharing of similarities among living organisms both horizontally and vertically that all present day living organisms are related to each other and to all organisms that ever lived on this earth was a revolution which humbled man and led to the cultural movement for conservation of diversity biodiversity so even a banana is related to us we are even related to the in, to the spider that is at some point our ancestors were common in the following chapters of this you will going to understand all these things um, a little bit later as the course progresses that's it the following chapter of this unit will gi- will get a description including the following chapters of this unit you will get a description including classification of animals and plants from a taxonomic perspective taxonomic is who who sort of um, classifies the different types of organisms so first of all um okay i think this video should be should this much only